What's up YouTube, Jeff Beck again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick video to share a nice cool hack that I saw earlier this week that really helped me out. I love using the Pixel 2's launcher that comes on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. It's nice and uh, fluid, very snappy. Um, you've got the search bar at the bottom, you've got your at a glance up top, you've got your, you know, your date, your weather widget. You can scroll out to the side here and get your Google Now feed, the new updated version, which is really nice. Um, there's a lot of other great features about it, which you know, you've got the system-wide dark mode if you're using a dark wallpaper. But one thing that I really don't like about the uh, Google Pixel launcher is that it doesn't allow the use of custom icon packs right out of the box. So I've been looking for a long time for a way to use the Pixel Launcher and get those custom icon packs at the same time. And thanks to a developer over at XDA, you can now get the Pixel 2 Launcher with custom icon pack support on any of your devices. So you can see right here, I've got it running on the HTC U11 Plus, which I'm really enjoying by the way. I've had this phone for a couple of weeks. It's a really, really nice phone. Uh, the Pixel 2 Launcher that you wanna download, again, comes from an XDA developer by the name of Amir. Uh, there's a nice article over on XDA, which I'll drop below, which gives you the full change log. But the one I'm most interested in is the custom icon packs and also the ability to uh, resize your actual icons on Oreo, which is one of those uh, features with the adaptive icons. There's a slew of other great things. Uh, you can get this actually running on any phone that has Lollipop uh, and above, as you can see right there. So you don't need a brand new phone to get it. Uh, with Lollipop, you're gonna get a lot of great features. Uh, you can get notification dots and things like that and the Google Now feed. So I'll drop an APK below if you guys want to install it. As usual, you need to allow uh, unknown sources in order to install the APK, which on Oreo is actually really easy because it'll just pop up and ask if you want to install this app on a one-time basis and uh, you'll be all set. So this is what it looks like running on the HTC U11 Plus. I also have it running here on my Galaxy Note 8 as well. Um, very, very fluid. The um, actual launcher itself, just as snappy as the one you would see on the Pixel. You can see the animations there at the bottom. If you try to scroll up, it looks exactly like it would on the Pixel. Uh, he's also added a couple of nice improvements though, in addition to custom icon packs. Uh, for instance, the apps at the top here are actually recommended based on your number of clicks. Uh, you can go in and turn any of this stuff off if you want. You can change uh, these sort of settings by just long pressing on the home screen, going down to home settings. You'll see right here, you can adjust the settings in the Pixel Launcher. You can turn the at a glance on or off and also control what information you see there. You can also add an icon to the home screen. That actually was removed from the Play Store settings, so it's now part of the home settings. So that's really useful to have right there. I don't like that option, so I just turned it off. Uh, you can display the Google app here to the left. You know, that's gonna let you swipe over to get that Google app. Uh, display app suggestions, that's what I just mentioned right there, which it displays the ones that you've tapped on the most. Change icon shape here for anybody on Oreo. You can get the adaptive icons. And of course, the feature that I'm most excited about, which is using a custom icon pack. You guys can see I'm using the O icon pack right there, which gives you a nice set of icons that have a nice uh, Android Oreo style feel to them. They're all supposed to be nice and rounded off. And I really like the look of this icon pack. Uh, just because I know people are gonna be curious, uh, the icon pack that I am running on the Galaxy Note 8, I'll go ahead and show you really quick. I think you guys have seen this one before from me, and that is Glim Dark. So this is a really nice uh, opportunity to use Google's Pixel Launcher, which I really do like the fluidity of the launcher uh, and the overall aesthetic, but I really do not like the fact that you can't use custom icon packs on the Pixel itself. Uh, one other thing that I really do like is that uh, the developer got rid of this ridiculous looking search text that Google put in the search bar at the bottom. You can see that that's actually gone now, so you don't have to worry about that if you're using this version of the Pixel Launcher. That's also another perk of uh, installing this. Now, the only downside is if you actually do own a Pixel device, then you're going to need to get uh, a Magis module to install this particular launcher and get the extra features added on. Again, that's all in the XDA developers article. If you guys want me to do a specific video uh, showing how to install this on a Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL device, I'd be happy to do that. I just don't know if there's enough interest. Uh, so anyway, that's a look at the Pixel 2 uh, launcher rootless running on the HTC 11 Plus and the Galaxy Note 8 using custom icon packs, which I really like. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. You guys can find me at dopetechdaily.com. Google+, Instagram, and Twitter, the links in the description. You can also find me writing over at gadgethacks.com, where I write about Android all the time. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.